Oh. Hey guys, welcome back to another video brought to you by the Gaming Hut. Today we're going to be um, doing a potion room. So uh, yeah, let's let's go ahead and start. So the first thing you're going to need is a um, is an eleven. Oh, by the way, it's fully automatic. So stay keep uh, stay tuned. So you're going to need an eleven length, eight width, and four five height, including this. So first thing first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and place a chest right there. A redstone torch right here and a hopper facing the chest and then after that you're gonna to want to put a broom stand on top go over here get a hopper place one here and one on top and then after that you're gonna to want to go ahead and place another chest on top of that and a hopper on top of that so now that you have that you're gonna go ahead and want to take some redstone and place it here with a repair, whoops, right there, and a block right there. Now uh, Josh joined. Uh, let's see, um, th yeah, that's right. And then you place a comparator with the uh, little torch facing this way. Uh, yeah, l last time he was like 50, 60 blocks up in the air, and um, I destroyed the platform he was on, and I guess he fell. He's like right outside there. There he is. Um, but yeah, he just fell. So uh, let's see, go ahead and put a redstone repeater right here, another one right here, another one right here, and another one right here, with comparators on the outside of that, like this. So yeah, now you have like a block, where it's like a uh, uh, comparator repeater, comparator repeater, comparator repeater, blah blah blah. So then after that, put each one of these to two ticks, because this works. Uh, and place a block down anywhere in this thing. You're gonna remove it later, but then you're gonna go ahead and, in a clockwise motion, gonna go ahead and start placing these um, these hoppers in a clockwise motion. So go ahead and break this and add another hopper. And now this is basically done. So now you take your redstone, put one on each end of the repeaters, like so. And then right here, put two blocks, and then one going up. And bring this redstone right up here, like so. And place a repeater right there. So now this is the uh, gist of what's going on. And this is going to lead to the on and off switch, which will lead right there. And now it's time... Oh, I forgot a chest. Let's go ahead and place a chest right here. This is going to be the water bottle chest. This is just for storage and... Uh, this is for the actual potion in the end. So the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get your droppers out. And um, you're going to want these to face inward towards the uh, towards the hopper right here. Nope. Let's do this instead. There you go. Do this. Nope. Maybe like this. There we go. So we got one dropper. Oh crap. I'm gonna need to put that back. Uh, two droppers. Three droppers. And then you're gonna go ahead and de uh, delete these. And you're gonna need to place another one facing this thing. So how am I gonna do this? Uh, maybe like so. No, thought that was gonna happen. Um, let's just destroy the hopper for now. That's fairly easy to place back. So go ahead and place blocks right there. There we go. And uh, place the hopper back. Oops. So now this is basically the entire design. Uh, for the internals of this, let's go ahead and actually do this and place redstone right there. Where's my lever? All right. So basically, what happens here is um, you keep this off 
and then this in here where's my two stacks of, okay so anyways you put two stacks of cobble or whatever you want in here two stacks of anything it has to be 64 though and then what it'll do is it'll pass it around going through here and it's just enough time for an entire portion set of four to go ahead and um complete its cycle so the way you're going to go ahead and put your um put your uh stuff in the droppers is very simple so for this one i'm going to make um splash potions of speed of yeah speed so this is the uh, setup I'm gonna be doing um, in the bottom one you're gonna to want to put your nether wart in the middle one you're gonna to want to put your primary ingredient in the top one you want to put either glowstone or redstone and in the back one right here you're gonna to want to put some uh, gunpowder because that the final one if you're even gonna use gunpowder so that's basically it. I'm going to go ahead and make this all look pretty and whatnot, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Voila! It's all done. <sighs> I am so annoyed with this project. So, this project is annoying as crap, but I ended up finishing it. I still need to make some more planks and some more um, uh, droppers. Oh. But other than that, I should be fine. So anyways, I'll show you guys, uh, you saw the wiring, I added this little uh, fueling station for all the water bottles that go in here. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll show you all the um, potions I'm expecting to make. So uh, speed splash, ah, speed splash, uh, splash speed for 6 minutes, instant health 2, fire resist 8, strength 2 for a minute and 7 seconds. Night Vision for 8 minutes, and Splash Potion of Weakness, or Splash Weakness Potion. And for this one, I'm actually going to go ahead and make an Invisibility Potions, but I did not want to put another one. I could have. I have 4 blocks on that side and 4 blocks on that side. I can make another one easily, but I'm not. So, boo -hoo. Um, So, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and have like another thing set up over here or something like that for the Invisibility Potions. Uh, just something small, so because I don't need that many. But anyways, um, yeah. So this is basically done. I just need to do the floors and like finish the decor and all that. But yeah, so my automatic potion thing is finished. And the way to start it is just to hit the lever. So once I hit the lever, it'll start making potions. So um, all right. Next thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and uh, enchant a sword. By the way, my Nether Wart farm is now up here for temporary purposes. This is not staying here. Alright, so um, I'm going to go ahead and change the sword to 30 levels real quick. Oh, and I also added this little thingamabob in here. Um, as you can tell, like this is the water is now gone. But um, there's a lever. Hit the lever, it goes up, and now you can enchant like level 3s and stuff like that. Knock it down, and it's a full enchantment table, as you can see. Alright, so let's hope for the best. Sharpness 4, knockback 2. Not bad at all. I would have liked it on breaking, but this is fantastic. Alright guys, so um, that kind of wraps it up for this video. This is, uh, I made my automatic potion farm. This is the gaming hut. I'll see you guys later, and have a great day.